What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last Dasta video, we took on Virginia and ended up getting killed 45 to 14. It was kind of expected. They're a top 25 team, a whole lot better talent than what we have. And we just struggled throughout the entire game, offensively and defensively. And But we're ready to move on. We're going to start our conference schedule today. We're going to take on West Virginia. So the good news is they're 0-3. They haven't won a game in quite a while. But the, I guess the bad news is they were one of our losses last year. It was just a bad matchup for us. So we'll see where their talent lies today. Uh, but we got an even matchup in terms of talent. You look at their stats. Rush offense is okay. Pass defense is okay. They're just not doing much of anything well. So hopefully we could take advantage of some of that, especially their turnover differential. Before we do that, let's go over to recruiting. We're in still great shape. For the three guys we've been going after since the beginning, John Lawrence, outside linebacker, five-star kid. He is coming for the to the UConn game, ready to take that visit. Uh, we just don't know what he's into yet. Then you got halfback Jason Heath. Uh, he hasn't trimmed it down to his top three, but he will eventually. I might guess it could be at the end of this video. But we still need to find a positive pitch for him. And then last but not least, J.D. Hill. He has a trim down to his top three, but we're number one on his list. So just, again, great shape there. So it would be nice if one or two of these guys can commit. That way we may luck out. And we still got a couple of other quarterbacks that hasn't trimmed down their top eight yet. Like, look at this kid, Drew Ashley. And I'm still probably not going to – I may have to recruit him. You know, if we just get unlucky again in the offseason when it comes to getting a quarterback that can help us right away, we may have to get him. He looks like he really wants to come to our school. Like, we are just third place, and we're like the, what, fourth week into the schedule. So it's incredible. Like, we have a very good chance of getting this kid. We just uh, – so we got a positive pitch for the – I just now noticed this. So we got a positive pitch for this kid out of Texas. So it makes me wonder, do I need to put some points on this kid? I'm starting to think that we may need to do that. Like, I literally just now noticed it. Look, a positive pitch. You got to take advantage of that and notice his arm is absolutely insane. You can't ask for anything better. So what if I go like, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. What if it went 25, 25, and 25? I hope this doesn't hurt us for the other guys we've been going after. Like, for example... You know, John Lawrence, we're in killer shape here. Nobody's even coming close to help uh, to matching us in terms of interest. Uh, a little close with Ohio State with the halfback. Uh, JD, he's got we got competition with Purdue, Missouri, and NC State. But this kid, again, positive pitch. And oh gosh, so uh, let's just see what happens. I don't think these quarterbacks will get upset if we're going after two of them at the same time. I don't think it kind of works that way in this game. So let's take a chance there and see what happens. All right, let's head into the game. I'm really excited about that. Again, I just now saw that. If I'd have known that, I would have went after him much earlier. I just thought we had no chance of getting that kid. Just He's from Texas and whatnot. That's so far away. Look at the uniforms for West Virginia. This is their default. I like that. I bet they got an alternate home. Nope, they, they just have the default home uniforms. So that's what we'll go with. All right, so let's put on a show for these quarterbacks. I know that this isn't a visit or anything, but I'd love to get right back into the win column. We need a win. It only helps recruiting. It helps everything across the board. Win and out, just win your ball games. Looks like they got a defensive tackle hurt. We got a defensive end out. Well, I guess that dude's suspended. Let's go to the coin toss. We won it. I want the ball to start a second half. Looks like we got a rain game. Let's go over and check out their roster starting off. Thankfully, they got pocket passers now. Last year, they had an incredible dual threat quarterback who could really throw as well. We had no answer for him, but we don't have to worry about that. But we got to worry about this. Another impact halfback. We saw what happens pretty much every time we face one of these guys. Unless you have elite defensive talent to kind of stop these guys you're in for a world of hurt. So I'm just guessing they're going to run the ball an absolute ton with this kid. And his backups are pretty decent as well. Uh, not much at fullback. So they, they kind of run a spread offense with a mix of some pros. So they're kind of multiple in a sense. But you look at their wide receivers. One decent one and the rest of them not so much. Tight end. Nothing to get excited about here. None of them are really fast. Uh, can they catch uh, a little? So it looks like everything's probably going to go through that halfback. Look at their offensive line, 82, 74, 88, 74, and 72. So their center is pretty good. The rest of it, not so much. 
Let's go to defense. Now, they run a 3-3-5. You look at their defensive end, 65 and 70. Defensive tackle, their top guy is out, but his backup is just as good. You look at their linebackers, 82, 85, and 76. That may be the strength of their defense. You go to corner, not a whole lot here. 76, 72, and unless they go nickel or dime, you'll see these guys. But otherwise, you're going to see the majority of these two. You go to free safety, just okay. Just 80 speed. Pretty good strong safety. 80 over, 84 overall with 84 speed. Awful kicker. Awful punter. So it looks like their linebackers and their number one strong safety is their go-to on defense. So let's kick this thing off. I'm going to kick it away from the impact guy if possible. Been a long time since I played in this stadium. Long, long time. Somebody get a tackle. I'm going to run a lot of, well, I don't know. I mixed it up the last time. A lot of it just comes down to tackling. Let's just go Tampa 2 for now. I'm going to do an under front just in case they go off tackle to the right. If I was them, I'd just hand the ball off the 22 all day. So let's see if they do that. There he goes. So he, he still gets about four yards off of four hits. Let's go man. Ace Twins, we saw plenty of that in the previous game against Virginia. I'm defending Culver. Pray that I do okay here. Ah. I got I got sucked into that center. Like, it wasn't even close. Just So let's go uh, first and 10 again. We'll go back to zone. I almost want to try some cover one. I'm going to spread out. Maybe force some inward. I may... Be a bad idea, but we'll see. Get him. Oh. I went right in that direction, but he just curved right on out. But you look at the offensive line here. Everybody just gets an absolute shove. They're not supposed to be that great, but it is what it is. Uh, we can try. This is the first time we've called cover one pretty much all season, but I don't know what else to do. We could bring that safety down. Oops, speed option, or that's a... Ooh, get it, get it, somebody get it, somebody get it. Huge play, huge. Man, we needed that. We'll take all the help we can get. Six points. Just a bad pitch from what I could tell. We can go back and look at this. Let's see if we get a good angle. Yeah, just that was the worst pitch I think I've ever seen in an option play. Like, it literally died when it came out of his arm. Out of his hand, I should say. Look at that, it just like... So we picked it up. I wonder if I can get a good thumbnail here. This will be pretty good. We may get something like that. Let me go ahead and get that thumbnail while I'm here. That may be play of the game. Definitely going to get things rolling for sure. Keep fumbling. Keep doing stuff like that. They don't have a speedy quarterback, so running options kind of goofy on their end, but keep doing it. So back to defense we'll go. I don't know if the rain affects anything. There's no way of truly knowing if that affects fumbles or not in this game. I'm assuming it does at least a little bit. You may see more of them. Somebody get a stop here. Oh, there he goes. Ah, oh, Just terrible. I don't know what happened there. Just like it was the easiest return ever. All that goodwill for nothing. Just nobody. I mean, all these guys just pooped the bed on that one. Just stared at it like it was nothing. And just like that, we're tied again. We'll get on offense for the first time and see if we can get the lead. If I would have known I could get decent blocking like that up the middle more, I would try more up the middle kickoff returns but i've never had success like that ever but they did with ease it helps when you got good blocking you know that's the key to football blocking and tackling and turnovers you come over here and nobody blocks for you it just you can barely get to the 25. let's go i need to make a couple of adjustments here and one here just so i don't forget it later now let's start off with something simple let's go halfback screen 
We may see a lot of 3-3-5 three, three, today. I'm going to see if I can get an extra blocker. Just get about four yards, maybe. Not a whole lot. We can go wing tight end. Let's try. Stick. Hopefully, Westerman can handle this throw. This will either go to Green or Meyer. Cover one. Good throw. Ah, would have been nice to break a tackle there. That probably would have been six points. But good throw, nonetheless. First and ten. I may try trips over. We can try double screens. I'd love to see them go man here, but they're not. They're going to go zone, so we're going to go over to... Let me bring green over. Get an extra blocker. So this is going to go to Massey. Watch out. That was just nobody blocked. I, do I need to quit calling this play? It's just it's not never worked for us this year, unless it's a man beater. Like, just all these three guys are just sitting there. So maybe that's just a bad play design on my part. I'm not sure. Let's go. I'm going to go gun, uh, P. Reed. I definitely don't want to run against all of that. Let's try something like here. Uh, drop. It was a great throw, but a drop. So let's try deep attack, I guess. So they're just going to go 3-3-5 three, three, on us all day, aren't they? Oh, terrible throw. Just terrible throw by Westerman. Overshot it. So we're going to punt it. Just a bad drive all around. Either a drop or a bad throw. Just nothing went right there. And this is a terrible punt. Somebody get to him quickly. Thank you. Shoo. That could have been really bad. Uh, let's try it. Uh, we'll just go zone. So that double screen concept again, I may just not do that anymore. That was just... It, We've just had such bad luck. That may need to be an audible or something. I don't know. Just whenever they get, they always call zone every time I call it, though. It's been pretty consistent throughout the whole season. I mean, if you can't get good blocking out of that, then what's the point of calling it, you know? Second and three. My guess is a run, and they're going to run it here. Just breaking tackles. There he goes. First down. Uh, we can try. Let's just go back to zone. Gun two back slot. Half back direct, maybe. Going P Reed just to get a stop there. That's to their other half back. That's another five yard gain. Let's go zone from nickel. We'll try this. P. Reed. Intercept that. Good defense fields. That makes it, what, third and four? Third and six. Would need a stop here in the worst way. Can we do it? They would punt it if we could stop them. Are they going QB draw? And we can't get the first. You gotta be kidding. QB draw with a slow quarterback. Just terrible. I just have to maybe I just gotta admit we just got a terrible team. Like I'm trying to do wonders with them, but it's just it's not easy. Terrible throw there. We'll take as many of those as he wants to throw. Let's go back to zone at a four three. I'm going to go back to that under front. I just don't trust him going basic golf tackle. And that's what they're doing here, but they went dive. Good stop, though. Not bad. It's that good thing for that under front. So that defensive end coming through right there helps in situations like that. So it's, what, third and long again? Hopefully we can get a stop. Our front four needs to do something. Anybody. I'll take whatever you guys can give us. We just need to get through. Maybe I need to bring in an extra blitzer in some of these situations. 
Thankfully, another halfway bad throw. So are they going to... Yes, they are going to punt from their 37. Hopefully nothing goofy happens back here. The best thing that can happen is just a touchback. Or he'll just boot that into the stands or something. We just get out of the way. Oh, look at this punt. Everybody get out of the way. Get out of the way. You just never know what can happen back there. So we're in the middle of the field. Let's try. Let's go halfback screen again. And they keep calling zone. Oh, man. Call man every once in a while against these. Go over here. Get whatever you can. Get a few, not a whole lot. Let's try. I could try another screen. And this may be another thing I got to think about. Maybe the screen heavy attack just isn't what we need to be doing with this roster. I don't know. I'm just trying to make it easy for my my quarterback. Let's bring in an extra guy over here. He's not open, but he is. Get a first down. Next thing I want to try to do. Oh, uh, we can stay here. I want to try. Yes, let's go tight end deep. We need to see a, a little bit of cover zero today. If not, I may have to go more deep attack on some spots. But they're going cover one here, high snap. We'll go to green, pick up a decent gain of what, eight or so. Second and two. Uh, what can we try here? Let me go. I have an idea. Let's go, if I can get to it. Halfback angle. We'll go to somebody on the right. Although I'm not a big fan of that extra dude just kind of hanging over there. But they're doing that. Ah, terrible throw. I gotta remind myself, Westerman, he, his accuracy just isn't the greatest in the world. Let's try P.E. Reed. Oh, can we get... Uh, I... I get... I guess I should have thrown it. Just nobody... I mean... Just, we're just terrible. It just it is what it is. I got to punt it. I mean, I don't trust our offense to do anything positive here. Just a bad mistake on my part. They played perfect defense. Another terrible punt. Terrible punt. This is going to be six points. This is six points. Shoot, that could have been absolutely bad. So just, I guess it's a miracle we're still tied. I don't know, our, our poor offense. I, I wish I knew what to do. Um, we'll figure it out eventually. Half back direct, broke the tackle there. Pick up a few yards. Let's try a zone, Tampa two. Maybe, like, I, I guess I can try some actual runs. But again, our halfback isn't the greatest in the world, so I don't know if that's a good idea. He broke that tackle. There you go, six points. I, I just, I don't know. We're in for a world of hurt all season, I'm afraid. Even against a team as bad as this, they may just blow us out. Our poor defense just looked terrible there. I just, nothing you can do about that. He broke. He breaks a tackle. Nobody can get off their tackle or off their block, and it's just an easy touchdown. Uh, I don't know. I'll call something. We'll figure it out. Maybe not today. I just you can already just feel it. It just ain't nothing's really going well for us. We got lucky on that turnover. Nobody blocks there, as usual. I'm tired of talk, saying that all the time, but just nobody does their job half the time. Let's go deep attack. I'm just trying to think of something to do. I don't know. This is normally like a third and a long type thing, but they're going cover three here. Nobody's open. Nobody's open. Just we're lucky that wasn't a pick. Let's try. Uh, flanker screen.
we'll go to somebody on please go cover zero nope we'll go to massey again just don't turn the ball over there get a first down what can we call uh trips over screen again watch them go zone nope they're going man let's see what they do here cover one just they're making their tackles like we're not breaking any tackles second and four like i can try like what will happen if i actually just ran the ball like let's just do qb choice i'm just going to hand the ball off but look at this they got a bunch of people on that side i'm going to run to so this may not work at all told you just not just nothing now you see why i don't run the ball look at my offensive line nobody blocked they blitzed on this side it's just perfect defense again so it's third and something third and five uh we could try half back out maybe and they're going zone I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be as positive as i can with this team but it's it's getting hard good catch there by massey i hate that he's having to make all the catches but that's just what they're giving us first and tens let's try p reed again Uh, I like the numbers. Let's try it. Just nope. Again, what's the point of me running the ball when your offensive line can't block for you? Uh, let's try quick slants. We may be able to get something here. Price is in there now. Have to do a lot of this today, apparently, to get us give ourselves a chance. I'm going to try a deep attack again. Maybe if they go like cover one, I may have a chance to one of the outside go routes or something. Outside, bad throw, incomplete. Um, second and 10. We'll go back to screen maybe. I'm guessing they'll go cover one and they will. Good throw. First down. Just keep going to Meyer, I guess. So let's try. Speaking of. Tunnel screen. And I think they're going man again. Let me check this real quick. Yep, they're going man. Just making sure. Have to go back over here. Just run. Just don't fumble it. That makes it what? Uh, second and two. What if we try this? Let's go slot screen. And they're going, man. We got to be careful here. The closer you get to the end zone, the harder it is to make some of these throws. We're going to Meyer. Nope, I'm not going to do it. We're just going to throw that one away. Just all, just I had no chance. He was double teamed. They went cover two. Made no sense to throw it to him right there. And that was my only man beater. Uh, stick, maybe? Uh, we'll see what happens here. First down. Attaboy Bennett. Good job. Stick rat was open. Second and two. I'm going to... Let's go halfback direct. I forgot that I used a lot of this last season just for like around the goal line just to get the in the end zone. So let's try some of that here. Get an extra blocker. And get six points. All right, good deal. So we've tied it. That's great. So at least we've showed that we can get down the field with them and score a little bit. I don't know what to do about defense. I, I think we're just awful. <laughs> I mean, we've given up 35, 45 points last couple of games. Today's looking about to be the same the way we've been tackling. He's already, That halfback's already broken about five tackles already. But we maybe we can get lucky on a couple of turnovers like we did in the first quarter. Terrible kick. This is going out of bounds. Dang it. Dang it. Stupid Heisman kicking. 
I wonder if the new kicking game in the college football 25 is going to be just as hard. I kind of hope it is. Uh, at least it's be somewhat difficult. Like you got to put a little effort into it compared to some of the older games. We'll see. Let's try a zone blitz. Maybe we can tack them off the edge. Half back or QB draw again, but we only gets a couple. They've caught a lot of that today. Even when they don't have a quarterback that can run, but he's doing a good job with it. End up getting three yards on that. Going strong tight. I've got Culver. Intercept that. I think he got a foot down. Nope. Third and seven. All right. Let's get a stop here. Would be ideal to get a stop, get the ball back, maybe score before the half. We need somebody in our front four to make a play. Get some pressure early. Good job, Fields. That could have been a bad play. He was, if he was about a half a second late on this, he would have probably scored. He could have probably got a block by his teammate up there up top, but he didn't. Huge stop. Good job, defense. Add a kid. Good job, everybody. So let's go double cross. I don't know if we can get much of a return out of this, but they don't have a very good punter. Maybe he'll shank it hard to the right side. We are due for a special teams touchdown. Nope. Punted it perfectly. And he's supposed to be awful. Just don't... I'm just getting out of bounds. It, it's not worth it. I just don't trust uh, something good to happen there. I'm going to keep going back to Meyer. Like, we, we got to keep thinking about things like that. Let's go Y stick again. But they're going zone, so he's not going to get the ball. This may go right back to Bennett. But any perfect throw, he drops it. Second and ten. I'm gonna try. And let's do, let's go halfback screen. They're going man, so at least we know Meyer's probably gonna get it. I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna bring Spencer over. Nope, we'll just go over to Meyer. Ooh, get up, get up field, get up field. Go Meyer, six points. Thank you, man. Thank you, Meyer. Thank you. 87, we love you. I guess the bath throw ended up being a touchdown or forced a, a touchdown in a sense. So he kind of undershot it. He had to come back for it a little bit. But thankfully, the corner went for the swat. So just get right back around. So maybe it's just in our best interest whenever we're on the right hash, have an out route called for Meyer so we can have that situation, especially if they're going to keep calling man all day. So that's probably a good idea to think about like stuff like that. Right hash. Just got a better chance of going to Meyer. Go to him as many times as possible. And if they go zone, we'll just go to one of our zone beaters and hope for the best. And then we're on the left hash. Maybe do some of those wide receiver screens where, again, Meyer can get the ball. Next game, we should know who our third impact player is going to be. My guess is going to be a defensive player. We don't have anybody else on offense that seems worthy of an impact status. I hope somebody, I don't know. I'll take whoever. Uh, I honestly would prefer if it was somebody on offense, though. Maybe not another wide receiver. That's kind of counterintuitive. It would be cool if Massey got it, but I just don't think he's good enough to get that. Let's do another under front. All right, let's play defense. Minute and a half. Intercept that. Wow, our corners are killing it. Good job, Fields, especially Fields. He's just really feeling it today. Uh, let's just call the same thing. So I don't know if you noticed they're throwing the ball a little bit more, at least than I expected. But they may just run right here as soon as I said that. Nope, they're going to pass it. Just another stick route. That's going out of bounds, thankfully. That's a hard throw to make. Westerman tried it earlier, and it didn't work out. All right, let's go Tampa 2. Maybe we can get another stop. Don't even have to waste a timeout either. Let's do the under front this time. That spreading out hasn't seemed to help us. But let's do the under front instead. Screen. I just got rocked. But great tackle. But we're going to have to call a timeout here. Fourth and nine. We're going to go defensive line. We'll go double cross. If we can get a touchdown here, go to the locker room, up two scores, get the ball back at the start of the third quarter, get another touchdown there, then all will definitely be well. I'm definitely going to fair catch this one. We got no chance on that one. Middle of the field. 
I'm going to go tight. Let's go halfback screen. And we're going man. Uh, we'll just do green. Good catch. Just didn't get out of bounds. I may not call a timeout there. What we're going to do. Let's go quick slants. I'm just trying to think of ways to get that out of bounds real quickly. They're going man. Let's hurry it up. I'm going to... They're going nickel. Let's motion him over. So we've had good success with this play today. Just get out of bounds. Now I think I'm going to go right back to stick. Let's go out of gun normal or wing tight end this time. Let's go here. And they're going man. That's great. I think we should just go right back to Meyer. He's our best player. Watch out. Good throw, just a good catch, uh, but a good stop. Uh, that's going to be a, let's call a timeout there. Second and five. I don't know if it's a good idea to try this now. Um, let's go tunnel screen. All right, they're going man, but they're going dime. So this may not work at all. This is a good coverage against this defense. Yep, I want to get kit. Yeah, I, I, I'm actually glad he dropped it. So it's third and five. I'm going to go... I'm trying to think of way it's third and five. Let's do this. Yeah, let's go scissors in. And this is going to be interesting. They're going zone. I don't know if we got the room to go over there and try to hit somebody on the right side. We can go to our tight end. First down. Good job. First down. Uh, first and 10 from there. Got to be mindful of the clock. Let's go deep attack. Going man. Doing that. Good catch, but we're going to have to call. I got to call another timeout. That's our last timeout. So it's second and five. Uh, what's the good idea to do? Uh, let's go halfback screen. We're going man. If we can get a first down, then I can spike it if we get the first. Terror, ooh, just a bad throw. So we're going to spike this thing. We're going to spike it. We'll do that. So that makes it second and 10 on the 13. I'm trying to think of just another way to give it to either Meyer or get a simple man beater on the right side, but they're going dime. So th this may not work very well at all, but we're going to probably have to go to Massey. He's our only option, honestly. Terrible play. Dang it. Dang it. I, I That was my fault. I should have kicked a field goal. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Dang it. I, I completely goofed up there. I should have called. I should have kicked a field goal. All right. I'm not too worried about that unless we lose by three. <laughs> so 248 to their 128. I feel like we're just playing a whole lot better than they are. Uh, we're doing a better job on third down. They got a turnover. You go to individual stats. Westerman is doing fine. Again, I'm trying to give him the easiest throws as possible. One touchdown. You got a uh, rushing. Just I've tried. I mean, even the most basic run, it just nothing's working there. Even with our PE reads, it's awful. Receiving though, Massey and Meyer. It's kind of them two right now. Meyer's leading in yards, and he's got the one touchdown. Defensively, Horn is leading that for now. No tackles for loss. Not a single sack, and not a single interception. So hopefully, me bungling that last part of the first half doesn't come back to haunt us. I should, again, I should have just attempted a field goal, and I didn't. Or I should have at least have went to the end zone on that one play first. All right, so let's get back. I'm going to go right back to stick. And I'm only, the only reason why I'm trying to call that is try to go to Meyer, but they're going zone here. Wide open right there. Just get something, not a whole lot. I mean, absolutely nothing. Let's try... We're on the right hash, so let's go screen. And they're going man. Again, Meyer. Until they go cover zero, I'm going to keep going to Meyer. And they're not going to there. Shoot, gee whiz. Look at this play. Isn't it, This is the play of the game right here. Great defense, or yes, pressure. Up the left side. 
I had to throw it off my back foot. Thankfully, I didn't throw it super hard. I probably would have been picked. But a killer catch by Meyer. First down. So we're on the left hash. I think we can try. Gun Ace Twins again. Tunnel screen. It just increases our chance. But to go with that, again, I just don't know if this is going to work. But let's go to Smith. Let's bring him over. Go cover zero. They're going cover zero. Oh, this is terrible play. I thank the Lord that wasn't intercepted. That was my fault. That was pretty much triple coverage there. Second and 10. I'm going to go. Where's it at? If I can find. Uh, yeah, let's do a quick slants. Ugh, they're going zone. And it's hard to deter. I'd love to try to go to Meyer over the top. But nope, he's not open. Get up field. Get up field. Add a kid. Add a kid. Add a kid. Freshman. Killer play right there. This is how you throw to the flat. It's pure luck. You just got to hope your quarterback can make an accurate throw. If he makes an accurate throw, the court, the receiver will turn right up the sideline just like that naturally. If that happens, you're going to have a really good gain, as you saw right there. So we're on the left hash. I'm going to go back to trio offset. Go flanker screen. They go dime. I'm just, I'm shocked they're going dime on this. So let's see if this will work or not. Nope, it ain't going to. Uh, we, we may. He over pursued on that one. Get a first down there. And I'm going to go right back to stick. We'll do it from normal this time or wing tight in. And they're going man. So we're going to go right back to Meyer. No reason not to. Break a tackle. Good enough. All right, so we're on the two. I'm not going to get cute down here. Let's just go half back direct and punch it in. I don't care how we score. We just got to score. I guess I'm going to go to the right. It's a little quicker for Massey to just run to the right. Just get a block, get over there, score a touchdown. All right, good deal. So that's a good way to come out of the locker room, get a touchdown, go up two scores. So we got to get back on defense and figure out what to do there. And one thing I did need to check, you go to in-game strategy. I needed, not there, I'm going to go to stats. How balanced are they? I should have looked at this earlier. So they are still running a little bit more than passing, but they've been pretty balanced. I have actually was expecting them to run the ball a ton. So I think it's in our best interest that they keep throwing because they don't have a good quarterback or not good enough. And the receiving core is not all that great. So maybe they'll just keep passing. All right, so I feel a bit better about not kicking that field goal at the end of the half. Let's go over here. This is the kick I was looking for earlier. Just like that. Touchback, baby. More of that, please. Going four wide. Let's just go Tampa 2. Keep everything in front of us. Maybe they'll make a mistake. I'm going to spread out. Halfback direct. I just got destroyed. Impact linebacker comes and makes a tackle. We'll go back to 4-3. We'll do an under front. They're going gun wide trips, a formation that I have. I just need to use it a little bit more. Halfback direct again. That could have been really bad. Uh, so that makes it, what, third and something? Third and three. They're going goal line. Let's just keep it safe and go man lock just in case they feel like going play action. I'm still going to shade everybody over to the strong side just in case they run over there. Everybody get a push up front. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Coming back. Face mask. Where did that come from? A five yard or horn. I didn't even see it. I guess it doesn't matter. They're going to get their first. All right. Back to more defense we go. Going with a bigger set. I may just get right up on this center and engage him out of the gate. Like that. But I just got, oh, I thought I had a chance to go to the other side there. He caught up with me again. Another first down. Now they're on the move. Back the strong type they go. 
Mega tackle. Add a boy. Good job. Tackle for loss. We'll take him. Second and 12. Let's go zone out of nickel. I'm going to do an under front. I just... Uh. Oh, nice, Al. Look what I've done right here. So I got caught up on the right guard. And I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, look at these gaping holes. This will be another easy first down for him. But I was able to do a spin move, coming back around to get the tackle. Huge play right there. So that makes it, what, third and eight? Third and seven? Let's see if our front four can get a push somewhere. Uh, we'll spread out. This should be a basic drop back, I would think. Ah, ah, that's close. He got it. I swear. I swear. <laughs> what do you do? They just find a way to get a first down. So I'm a little worried about this. Let's spread out. Maybe that'll force him in. Ooh, they're going to play action. Intercept that. Holding, which is fine. That'll, that'll make it, what, first and forever? Yeah, let's go first and 20. You, you might have to take that. Let's go back to 4-3. So I have a feeling this season, every game in the conference is going to be like a nail-biter. I, I could just feel that. It's just going to be a... I mean, especially with our team this year, it's just going to be a tough way to win some games, but should be interesting nonetheless. Very easy tackle. That's how you're supposed to do it there. So that makes a third and forever. No, it's second and 18. My bad. I'm a down behind or down ahead. I'm going to spread them out again. I may back out. I don't want that center to engage me. I'm not doing a good job against him. Going zone. Just get a simple tackle. Takes a couple guys to get him down, but we did it. So that makes a third and ten. So we're we'll probably go nickel cover. Yep. We'll just go Tampa two. Somebody in the front four needs to make a play here. I'm going to do an under front this time. This gets me a little closer to where I'm supposed to be defensively anyways. They may go back to that goofy screen, which I kind of hope they do. And they are. Intercept that. Good enough. Good job, freshman. So they did go to that screen. I called it. So it's fourth and 11. I'm going to go middle fan. Let's just get a safe return. Do not do anything goofy back here. Let's get back on offense, and maybe we can get another touchdown. Shank it hard to the well. Just kick it out of bounds. That's best. Ooh, no. Everybody get out of the way. Nope. Just don't touch them. All right, so we're on the right hash. I think our right now what we're doing is working. Do I have? Yes, I'm gonna do slant halfback wheel. This gets Meyer an opportunity against man, but they're going zone. So what I'm gonna do here is probably just go to our tight end. I think he's going to be open. Ooh, that was a good catch. Ooh, that was a just interesting play right there. So I threw it off my back foot, and I had I didn't really have to do that. I should have stayed in the pocket. That was my fault. That's another problem I still have at times. I, I'm not afraid to admit it. Getting out of the pocket a little bit more when I shouldn't have to. Something I got to work on. And one of the reasons I do that, because it wasn't until 07 when they introduced the uh, auto pass where you can turn off. That way you don't have to worry about it. The only reason I do that, because if you just don't do anything with that controller, uh, your quarterback's going to throw it for you, and you don't want that to happen. Wide open there. The stick route is working today. That's great. Air raid, baby. I love the air raid. This is the go-to concept. Well, I don't have mesh, but this, again, just a great play right there. First down. Now let's try. Let's just stay here. Uh, actually, let's go gun. If I can get to it right here, I want to go. Halfback, oh, end of the third quarter. Wasn't paying attention. All right, that was a great quarter for us. We got a touchdown. Let's go back to gun, wing, tight end. Halfback screen. We'll go to our halfback this time. Let's get an extra blocker. Does somebody block for him? Anybody? Just nobody. Hardly anybody block for him there. Now we can stay here and try. Stick again. And they're going man. Good deal. We're going to go right back to Meyer. 
Good throw. Almost got the first down. Not quite. So that makes it, what, third and one? We can try quick slants. The last time we hit the flat rat, it worked really well. But let's see what they do here. First down. Good catch, Bennett. Not the best throw, but we got the first. So I'm going to try. It's in my mind. Please go man. Again, I may have to set these up as audibles later. Yeah. Okay. I got to call these as audibles going forward because these zone beaters, this screen to the halfback, it just never works. I just don't know why. At least not this year it hasn't. This one may work okay. Somebody block though. Eh, okay. It's not bad. We got five yards out of it. That was okay. So that makes it what? Second and five? Let's go back to Ace Twins. Let's try tunnel screen. But I forget, against 335, this isn't as helpful. So this is probably a, a play I should not have called today. But this guy's getting open. Oh, just a face mask. Yes. That's a five-yarder. That should be an automatic first down. Yes, first and 10. So where are we? We back on the left hash? Where are we? We are on the right hash now. Let's try stick again. To keep leaving the stick or our halfback open a lot. Look, wide open. Just a bit of bad throw. But another face mask. Fine. Five yards. First and five. We can try. It's on my mind. I want to try this play right here. Slants. This is like another modified screen. They're going zone. Wide open over there. Wide open. Good little hot read. So what I'm looking for here, normally this is not a zone beater for me. I'm just kind of reading these two guys. So they go up or any, as long as they don't stay in the flat like a cover two corner would, I'm going to just bounce it over to that flat, flat round. Look at him. He's wide open over there. Just a simple hot read. If I can't go to him, I'll just go to the halfback who is probably open as well. Look, he was just wide open, too. So I had good options across the board. So we're on the 13. I want to try. It's on my mind. I'm going to try P. Reed. I would love to give it to my tight end again. And they're going man, but they're... Hmm. Let's just see what happens here. Wide open. Terrible throw. Come on, Westerman. Why is, it, why is he so bad at that? I'm trying to figure out why he's bad at that. Like, I didn't do anything special here. He just has to make the throw, and he just he whiffed it badly. So we're on the left hash. Let's try flanker screen again. And you notice to keep calling man every time I call this on this side? Because I'd love to go to Meyer on the, on the left, but it ain't working. But this guy's wide open. Let's go to Price... Almost get a first down. At this point, I think I may just do the halfback direct again. I don't care. Again, that's just a goal line thing for me because we don't have any good goal line, just basic run up the middle type stuff unless I went to straight to goal line, which ain't the best in the world in this game. Just as long as you get a block, that's all I need. Again, I, I have no qualms of anybody using halfback direct around the goal line. I know some people think it may be cheese. You could probably think of that way if you call it like around you know, normal distances and downs and such. But around the goal line, just score. Just do what you can to get in. Especially with our type of offense at the moment. I just, it's, I just don't think it's smart to try to throw the ball around through there. It just gets real tight in terms of your windows. To me, it's just not worth it unless you got a killer quarterback and you think you can got a good little scheme that you can work up to get that touchdown. So I'm feeling a little bit better. There's three minutes left and we're up three touchdowns. I think we're going to win this one. I'm curious to see what the recruiting is going to look like after we sim the week with that Texas quarterback. Like, can you imagine if we got both of them? We need as many decent quarterbacks as possible since we got so unlucky in the offseason. Just hardly anybody was interested. That transfer was interested. We could have had, actually, we could have added him. He couldn't have helped us this year, but that's okay. Eh, get over the top. Uh, get up the field. Good throw. One of his few good throws and fields is out. Ugh. 
just a chest. Maybe it's just like a strained muscle or something. Hope it's not too serious. Let's go zone. Just Tampa 2 from 4-3 this time. We'll go right here. Thank you. Drop it. He hit it. He got hit when he tried to catch it. Second and 10. I'm at the point where I probably need to do a little blitzing. So Fields is out for the game. At least it ain't for the season or something like that. I think we'll be fine without him for the next three minutes. Oh, ow. I whiffed on that one. I got to quit taking over guys like that. It's not my strength. Ooh, it's third and three. I just now noticed that. So let's see what happens here. Maybe we can get another stop. I can see one of our defensive ends do something. Good catch. By the halfback, first down. We may get an offsides called on us right here. Nope, they're going to call something. Nope, they're going to go basic run. Good job, Al. Good open field tackle. They'll probably go right back to that. Nope, they're not going to. I'm going to try a zone blitz. Now they seem just destined just to throw the ball every time. Let's do this. Now I got my second string middle linebacker in there. Get out of bounds. Nice. He threw it too lightly. You got to throw that quicker. Third and 11. We'll just go Tampa 2. I'm going to do an under front this time. Screen over there. Can I get through? So I'm going to make a tackle. I, I guess they'll punt it here. Surely they're not going to try to go for it. Oh, wow. They're going to go for it. Fine. That's You do what you want to do. I guess it shows that you just don't want to give up. They're going ace normal. My backup middle linebacker still in there. Wow. Is he like going to be just like the best free safety we'll ever have in this dynasty? I mean, this kid everywhere, it doesn't matter what happens. He just makes a play. He's my new favorite player. Like you just put a smile on your face every time he does something. So we're in the middle of the field, aren't we? Let's try. Halfback screen. We're going to flip it. And this is why I flipped it. Because who gets the out route? Meyer. Although I'd love to see them go cover zero. I'd love to go to Sanders over the top. But that's not going to happen. Good throw. Good enough. Get about five or six yards there. Second and three. I guess we can... Let me go wing. Let me go P read. I wish I'd give it to my tiny ends a little bit more. It just didn't work out. Like I tried in certain spots, but that's all right. What I may do is I think they're going man right here. Let's just snap the ball and decide to go cover zero. Get over the top. Get it green. Six points. <laughs> they finally went cover zero. And I got to go to a post trade on the short side, which I never hardly do. Great way to end this thing. Off the back foot. Let Green, our senior receiver, make a play. Six points. Great job, everybody. Awesome. And just like that, we're going to blow them out, which is great because they beat us last year. I didn't want to lose two in a row to this team. Not sure what's happened. They just recruited poorly this entire dynasty. got to remember this is season six of this dynasty file. And they just really struggled. For whatever reason, again, I just can't bring in the talent. I know it's West Virginia. Not everybody wants to, you know, go play there. But So this is another dynasty that you would probably enjoy. It's a little tougher. Not a ton of talent comes out of that state, but you're close to some good states that do, that do have a good talent, like Pennsylvania and such. Ohio's kind of right there. You just have to spend a little bit more points to get those players. I'm going to take out my entire team we're done nobody else needs to get hurt but we got the first string out there let's survive this one play without any injuries they still got their first string out there going half back direct good job al nice so i think we've done a good job on their halfback today he only had 143 yards but i also think a lot of that was due to them just throwing the ball a lot more than i ever expected but Westerman is your MVP of the day. Had another almost 500-yard game. 
He's had several way over 400 yards. Ah. Going to get a first down there. Another. They've called halfback direct a ton today. That's like the sixth or seventh time. But I, at least I think we figured out probably what's in our best interest. And it's just to go to Meyer. And if that means just go to those out routes and screens to him, then so be it. Your best players need to touch the ball as often as possible. Intercept that. That should have been picked. Second and 10. I think they're going to go back to strong tight. Yep. I don't think I've ever used that formation like in a in a playbook. I don't, I'm trying to think. Strong, it's just a rare formation nobody ever thinks about. Good blocking there. Easy first down to the fullback. Let's go zone. Still got the first string out there. More power to him. Intercept that. Good job, number eight. That's McAfee. We'll just stick with 4-3. This game is taking a little bit longer than usual because they're just trying to make something out of this when there's nothing to be had. This could be a run up the gut. No, they're going to pass it. A little slant route, not much there. Third and six. We'll just stick with the same play. I'm going to do an under front. Halfback direct. Ah, just whiffed it. Whiffed it. I should have just kind of stood still. Uh, first and 10. Let's do a zone blitz. So that's like the 10th halfback direct they've called today. I'm going to flip this. That's why I've done that. And I whiffed it there. But this is why I've done that. I had the blitzer coming off the left side. And there he was. It just another broken tackle. All right. That's the end of the game. Good deal. Good win. We just slowly just kind of pulled away there. It was getting kind of iffy in the first half. But we just... And I, I got a little worried, I'm not going to lie, after I decided not to kick a field goal at the, begin, at the uh, end of the first half. But it worked out okay. Thankfully, West Virginia doesn't have a whole lot. They got about the same amount of talent as we do, but we just made more plays than they did. So let's check out some things, some stats and whatnot. Let's go over to stats and scores. So 453 to their 256, and all of it was just our passing, but we kept it as simple as possible. Try to increase our chances of going to Meyer pretty much on every play at that point. I was either running a screen on the left side. Hopefully they'd go zone. I could go to him or on the right hash. We'll just do like a, just a simple man beater to go to him. And a lot of that really worked out for us today, but a couple of other big plays happened for us as well. But both teams done a decent job on third down, but the key is they had one turnover and we kept it clean. When we don't turn the ball over, we got a chance to win. Go to individual stats. Westerman 37 of 48. 448 yards. This is becoming the norm for him. I think every single game so far this year, he's had 450-ish yards. So at least it shows that the passing attack is pretty solid, uh, even for the limited talent we have. But he's got two touchdowns, and again, not a single interception. Running the ball, just non-existent. I, I tried it a few times, even with some PE reads, and it just didn't work at all. Our offensive line and our halfback just can't handle it this year. Uh, running, uh, receiving, Massey with uh, 11 receptions, but there was Meyer with 10, but it was the Meyer show. He had 162 yards, one touchdown. Green had a killer catch towards the end for a touchdown. You go to defense. Horn led in tackles as he should. He's our best defensive player overall. Then you go over to tackles for loss. We ended up with a couple, one by our freshman cornerback, uh, David Ford. I don't remember that play. And then uh, Justin Horn had one as well. We didn't get a single sack, and we didn't get an interception, but that ended up being okay. You look at the box score. We just took care of business after the first quarter. It's, and again, I was just a little worried about that field goal uh, attempt that I chose not to go. Again, just dumb on my part. But then the second half came, and they just we just overpowered them with our passing attack and our defense really stepped up. All right, let's get out of here. I'm curious to see what recruiting is going to look like now that we've added this quarterback to the mix. I think it was just logical. If I'd have known he had had that positive pitch, I should have looked at it earlier. That was just my fault. So you even get information on kids that you're not even recruiting. Let me hit no here. Let's go check out the top 25 for the week. 
So we got uh, Texas uh, winning. Then you got uh, Illinois over Michigan. Nebraska won. NC State. I think they're going to be the national champions. They're that good. Then you got uh, Miami, Mississippi State, Virginia, Ohio State won. Then you have Cal, Nevada. Tennessee got beat again. Florida won. And Arizona State and Michigan State won. So let's go to recruiting. And here are the four guys. So just like that, we are still in eighth place here. So I don't know if that's going to – we'll just see what happens. But, again, it's worth it because of that positive pitch. But let's check out these other three guys. So, okay, we're still in killer shape right here for Lawrence. Let's just see. Uh, he's ready for the visit. We got UConn coming up. So Coach Prestige and Coach Style. He doesn't care about either one of those. So we can try – See, our program prestige I don't think is good enough, but we can still go program prestige just like a win and doubt. I think we got a chance there, and that's a big deal for five-star kids. So let's just go with that. Looks like Jason Heath is ready for a visit. Let's have him come for the UConn game. Let's see, coaching style, location, and playing time. Those are the things he doesn't care about. I'm going to try coach prestige. Let me just make sure. Yeah, let's try coach prestige. My coach prestige is better than the program prestige, so let's take a chance there. Next up. J.D. Hill is ready to take a visit. Now, look at this. We're way ahead of these other two, and it's not even close. Let's have him come for the UConn game. So, needless to say, the UConn game is very important. Let's see. Location, coaching style, and coach prestige. So, let's try playing time, maybe. Let's try playing time. He may like that. Let's go with that. All right. So, now we got this other quarterback. So if we luck, get lucky, we get a couple of these guys to commit, we'll dump all the rest of those points onto this other quarterback, and we may end up sneaking out with two quarterbacks in the regular season, which would be incredible. No offense to Westerman, but we need help there. So let's get out of here. Let's go to Sports Illustrated. Top 25 polls. USC, NC State, Oklahoma, Florida State, Texas A&M, LSU, so on and so forth. You go to Heisman Watch. Look at NC State. Look at this. Top three guys, wide receiver, quarterback, halfback. That is an incredible, I, that's super rare to see that. So take a picture if you've never seen that before. It can be done in this game. Players of the week. We'll go here. Uh, halfback for in Nebraska had a good game. Outside linebacker for Wyoming had a good game. What about the Big East? We'll check here. Justin Westerman. I figured he'd get on there eventually. And he got all that through his yardage. We didn't have many touchdown passes, but he still had just a great game. His best game of the season so far, I would say. I thought he just done a good job overall. He had a couple bad throws, but overall, he done a great job. A defensive tackle for Cincinnati had a good game. So let's go over to conference standings. This is starting to matter a little bit more. You go over here. So we got, we still got some teams that haven't even played a conference game yet. But let's look at our team info screen. So our defensive end, man, is out for a couple more weeks. We're still okay there. Uh, that's another issue we have, another reason why our front four isn't really doing a whole lot of, you know, damage up front. But Westerman is doing good. Massey, Meyer, that's going to be pretty consistent all season, I would imagine. In terms of tackles, I am leading in tackles, which I think is pretty cool. Sachs, Peterson, he's got two, and Fields has got two interceptions. But arguably our best defensive player in terms of who's just making plays left and right is that true freshman free safety? Coach, really excited about him. So let's go over to UConn. They got a halfback gal, so this is good. Don't know if he's an impact guy because you see down here, he's their leading rusher, but they don't run the ball much at all. Looks like they throw the ball quite a bit because they got a wide receiver averaging almost 170 yards a game. That's insane. Like, everything is going through this kid right here. Makes you wonder. I, I, if he's not an impact player, I want to know who he is. But you look at their defense. They just got a bunch of random dudes kind of doing whatever. And in their last game, they got beat by Dukes. That's who we got coming up next. UConn. I think this is, yes, this is definitely a home game because we have three guys coming in to visit us. So this is the biggest game of the season. We win. We'll get at least probably one or two commitments. And then it's all gravy after that. But you look at the roster. Same amount of town as we do. You look at their stats, pass offense is pretty solid, and pass defense is pretty good, and their turnover differential is pretty good. So it should be a whole lot of fun. Hopefully we get some commits. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.